Hey, thank you. Good morning, Movers and Shakers. Today, I want to talk about the concept of giver's gain. I know we've all heard it before, but I thought it would be good to review it. And you know, giver's gain is a concept that is so foreign to us when we initially get into the networking world. Why? Because when we're getting into networking, we need something. We need business, especially if we have a new business. So when I was new in business, I needed business. I go to these networking groups, and my thought was, hey, I need to meet people. I need to tell them about what I do. I need to find clients. And guess what? Everybody else in the room was trying to do the exact same thing. I was trying to tell them why they should hire me, and they were trying to tell me why I should buy their stuff. And I have a friend who's in IT, and he said years ago, he said, you know, it seems to me like networking is just a bunch of salespeople trying to sell each other. And I think he was accurate because that's what it was. We were in a room, everybody was trying to sell me, and really it can be off-putting because people push themselves on you. And there you find yourself being sold or in a sales conversation when in fact you're not even interested in the product or service that they're trying to push on you. Like, are you even a prospect? Usually, no. And so we all behave that way because we don't understand giver's gain. And we don't understand that giver's gain is much more effective. So when we're thinking about ourselves, when everybody wants to sell and nobody wants to buy, well, nothing gets bought. But when we slow down and relax and take a step back, and when we understand what networking truly is, is that it's a network. And we want to go into that arena, and instead of trying to sell to the members, we now sell through the members. And we think about the bigger picture. Hey, instead of how can I help myself, we think, how can I help the other group members? And now, if everybody is trying to do that, if everybody is trying to sell each other instead of trying to sell themselves, and I'm trying to learn about your business, and who do you help, and what kind of clients are you looking for? And I'm trying to think of how can I help the people I know when they have needs for things. Hey, you folks can solve those needs for my friends, clients, and family. And so now we understand giver's gain is that if we all try to give business to the other members, guess what happens? Everybody wins. And it's beautiful. It is so beautiful that it works so well, but the other thing that I think about when I think about giver's gain is the idea that we have to give something of ourselves. You know, when you think about anything in life that is worth achieving, whether it's business success, whether it's getting into great physical shape, health and fitness, whether it is relationships, much more is required of us. We have to give so much more to get the result than we ever thought we would have to give, right? When we get into business, we think it should be simple, quick, and easy, and we find out we have to give a lot to the equation. You wanna get in shape physically? Oh, you think, oh, well, that'll be easy. No, it's hard. I mean, it's like continuous, strenuous, ongoing effort. And so when I think about giver's gain in this group, and when we think about it, we should be thinking about on a regular basis throughout the week, how can I help people? How can I help my other group members get business? How can I help the people that I know who have problems and needs that can be solved by the group members, right? How can I give? But then we should be thinking, how can I give? How can I give more of myself? more time in one-to-ones, more time thinking about helping other members. i am always remembered what Lee Pearson told us a few months ago, how he got into this group. And he didn't do just one one-to-one -one a week or two one-to-ones every week. He did like five one-to-ones a week for months. That's giving and givers gain. And so this has been your educational moment. Let's think about that this week, givers gain. Brian Wade, Tampa Financial Group.